Welcome, everybody, to beautiful Miami and Hard Rock City, site of this year's Capital One Orange Bowl, part, of course, of the college football playoff. We are through the opening round of this year's playoff, and now the pressure is mounting in the quarterfinals. A matchup between one side that's had time to rest and recover, and another team that's battle-tested already off one playoff victory. As we'll see the number eight seed in this playoff, the South Carolina Gamecocks taking on the top-seeded team in the playoff, the Washington State Cougars. 3A Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. And here we go, a college football playoff quarterfinal game. We'll see which team's going to be moving on. Kickoff team out there. We're ready to rumble for this college football playoff game. And Turner looking to make a play here. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen. That's good coverage there. The Cougars offense comes on the field first today. They love being in Miami for the Orange Bowl. So much history and tradition. So many championships have been won in this game. But Kirk, they've been playing this since 1935. Can you tell me who won that first Orange Bowl? You know what's funny is I actually asked the Sunshine Scooter, who's from Miami, just in case you might ask me that question, so I have an answer. Miami played the Bison of Bucknell, and Bucknell upset them. Talk about a team coming out of left field and pulling off an upset even back then. But who would have guessed how much this game in the college football world would change since then? Hand it off for a draw. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, you'd love to see a few more yards here to give yourself a better chance on third down. Now, here early in this game, we get a big third down to see if this offensive line can keep the pressure off the quarterback. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. Punting ready to boot it away. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. The Gamecocks offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. All right, Kirk, let's take a quick look at the impact players for today's game and how they're going to affect the outcome. These are your leaders on the field and in the locker room. These are your go-to guys, not only when you need a play to be made, but also when you need somebody to rally your team. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of the defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. And the game got to move into the red zone. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Hit as he released it. That's incomplete. Even on a first down pass attempt, he felt heavy pressure. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Looking downfield, it's Sellers. Pass complete on a crosser. Brought down after the catch, but at the eight yard line, the offense threatening here. Offense facing a third down now. They can still get a first down without scoring. Looking to chuck it again. Makes it across the goal line. Touchdown, South Carolina. So a quarterback who can escape and score like that, what a boost for this offense. Yeah, quarterbacks like this who can scramble are so hard to defend because the defense is so caught up in coverage and defending the pass. By the time they realize what's happening, there's no chance of stopping them from scoring. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Zero. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Here comes the Wazoo offense back on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. It's a two-yard gain, second and eight coming up. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. Hey Dre, do you follow me on this joint, bro? Give me a follow if you don't, if you don't follow me, brother. I appreciate it. Get out my starters out of this game. Should be good. I shouldn't need these niggas. Tackle 
down waiting for the 25 yard line. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on three days, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four more yards a pop. Ah. It's an out route, the catch made. Ooh, the way go. Out of balance, but not before a huge game. You to be thinking they've been doing something, bro. Now we're starting to see this offense look like they've looked all year long. Listen, to be able to get to a playoff opportunity, your offense has got to be able to show an ability to hit throws like this on third down. They hit it, they keep the drive alive. I gotta go watch film, bro. Here's the second down play. I can play it. It's a draw play. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. You have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one dimensional. You gotta respect you. that. It's intercepted. Try to fire it into a tight window. And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. Shit. Temple them, that motherfucking temple team nice as shit, bruh. That motherfucker is getting pressure like shit. And it ends up backfiring. Why did he throw the ball like that? Hold on. I got to try my other quarterback, bro. We got to get right. We got two more games after this, bro. I need one of you niggas to get it together, dog. I can't have no scooty throws, bro. Can't have no bad throws, bro. Ah, pass let it, bro. That shit's so aggy. There's the hand on it. Just a small game. Look at it, second and nine. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and I got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half, and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. Take it down, but not before it makes the first down. A running play. Fuck, man. Look that dumb ass bad. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Hey, this defense continues to just be physical. It's a line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground. And by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back to throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. Tackle made after a solid run by the junior. How about the offensive line? That's just getting a hat on a hat, opening just enough room for the back to be able to get through there for a big game. Three snap motion from the receiver. And there's the handoff. Finding enough space for a solid game before they stop. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. And he's a good back. I'd love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. I ain't even no girl who still existed, fool. See. And it's South Carolina. <laughs> oh, Who the fuck still do groups? Maybe I'll check Now the guy's got Paulie's department. Any problems, he goes to Paulie. Trouble with the bill, he can go to Paulie. Trouble with the cops, deliveries, Tommy. Now the guy's got to come up with Paulie's money every week, no matter what. Business bad, you can pay. Oh, you had a fire? You pay me. Please let him buy lightning, huh? You pay me. Also, Foley can do anything, especially run the bills on the joint's credit. And why not? Nobody's going to pay for it anyway. And as soon as the deliveries are made in the front door, you move this stuff out the back and sell it at a discount. You take a $200 case of booze and you sell it. We know this time it's on the defense. They're going to make the right call. They'll stop him behind the ball for a loss of the bank or buy another case of booze. You bust the joint out. You light a match. Anything. I get that for you. Ball back at the six for second and goal up that way. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. And he'll get there. Touchdown, Washington State. Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on the point. Puts that ball right in the money. You see, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown. 
and the extra points puts the uprights. With that extra point, we're all tied up now in the second quarter. <laughs> that one bounces through the end zone, so it'll start at the 25. And the game comes defense is back out there on the field. Let's see how this quarterback responds. Remember, he intercepted the very first play of the last possession. He's hit as he throws it. Oh, the pass is picked off. Not no team did the shot at the bully, bro. Okay, he missed the video. He was like, I gotta have him shot. You gotta have him shot. No bullshit. Game four. The same exact shit happened. They threw it to CJ. That nigga CJ was firing that bitch. The BJ. And he missed it. Bro, he had like solid back there. Tough ass shot. Yeah, I ain't gonna fuck up. What? He did the lock on him. No bullshit. I'm gonna see the 27 for the rest of the field. Tano has a ball. Another great play by this receiver. I tell you, it's like this. Job of moving him around. The defense knew coming into this game. Tough to beat a stop, but the way they're utilizing him is making it very challenging for the team to make the match against the defense. Dropping back, it's Matia. Oh shit, bro, that shit was this way. Jay had a shot at the buzzer, but he had to get he missed the video. He was like, I gotta have a shot. No shit. No bullshit. Game four. The same exact shit happened. They threw it to the BJ. That makes sense. The BJ. He missed it. Man, the top. 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 They tried to shit me to Iowa when I was like seventh grade. I was getting suspended for fighting for three days. I came right from the back. So that my dad, he was in prison. Where's the most respect? Fields it just outside the goal line. And they saw him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And the South Carolina offense is back out on the field. Here comes quarterback to bounce back the last possession. Kick in the very fourth play. He's running out of time here. It's complete. What a grab near the sideline. It's a big game before he goes out of bounds. There goes one in six. More than enough for a down. One play, they're already past the point, the worst attack. And the back now goes in motion. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. The Why? Oh, my God. I just need to throw it in the The Gamecocks look at a cash in in the red zone. Here comes the throw from the red zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Gamecocks. Well, that's a well thrown machine right there. Everyone on the call has been a star in their roles. And when they're rolling like this, it's all just quick and shaking goals. The extra point makes it a four point game. And now the kickoff team is out of the field. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive is. The Washington State oh, defense back out on the field now. They settled for a field goal in the last possession. They're looking for the end zone, no doubt uh, here. Quick question. Uh, you busy tonight? This line getting set up. It's a first down play. I'm going to see if I can bring the kids over and talk about. Tackle made after a solid game. They spot the ball for 31. I didn't know if you wanted to come all the way over here. Showing great patience, the hole opens up, and then he's able to use his speed to pick up some good yards. On first down, they'll keep the running game churning. Yeah, but I was going to bring them towards... Huh? I was going to bring them towards the time they was going to sleep, so they'll be going to sleep by the time I bring them. Then if you if you don't if you don't care about coming here, I'll just ask. I just basically. 
You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. It's caught downfield. Breaks into the clear. It's a sprint. No stopping him. Takes it all the way. Touchdown, Washington State. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. And the PAT is good. Now they get set to kick it away. South Carolina, 14. And he takes this from inside the five. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And the Gamecocks offense is back out there on the field. Each offense has been clicking, scoring touchdowns in their last... And he lofts it toward the left sideline. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. Potentially a touchdown-saving tackle, but not before a long completion. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? A new set of downs after that completion. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Let's it go quickly. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. He pulls it in for a big game. And the game just good enough for a first down. We get to the line here in the no huddle. Quarterback making adjustments down to what the defense is showing. He'll try a pass here. Looking right, this one caught. And the defense swarms. Not much of a gain on that completion. He's second down after that completion. And he drops back in the gun. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. And you gotta love this if you're a defensive coordinator. It's all about affecting the quarterback and getting pressure on him. This time they got to him and forced that incompletion. Looking to throw it again. Makes the grab. Can he get there? Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. And the Gamecocks will come to the line and crank up the tempo. The quarterback's got it on the option. Oh, and a fumble here. Can you believe it? Offense with a crucial fumble recovery. Well, it's a good job by the defense to force the fumble, but you have to have the collective awareness for someone to get on top of it. It's a lucky break for the offense. Let's it fly out of the wideout. And they'll bring him down after a short game. Moves the football inside the five. Chris, that's another positive game for this offense. This quarterback continues to show why he's had such a great year this year. When he has time to throw, he gets his feet set. He's as accurate as any quarterback in the country. Receiver makes the catch. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Now the timeout is called by the defense. They've got some things to work out here. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. Touchdown, South Carolina. Still no answer for this offense. So with playoff pressure, Kirk, the offense executes a long, grinding, methodical drive. You know, the thing I've loved about this offense all year long is their ability to either hit the big play or not have to rely on that. Like this, they're able to sustain a drive and still come up with points and get a touchdown. They'll return it from inside the five. And the returner will be brought down. Washington State's offense back on the field now. Backed up this close to the end zone in the final minute. Let's see if they just decide to take care of the football and look toward the second half. About 30 seconds remaining here in the first half. It'll be first and 10. Missed this receiver. It's incomplete. Second and 10 here. Dropping back. It's Mateer bringing pressure. They trap him and sack him back at the 10. 
Timeout is called by the defense. That's their first of the half. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. Defense able to stop it. It's fourth down now. And now the defense will call a timeout before this critical down just to get everybody on the same page. Special teams on the field. Now here comes a punt. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. When he's got some space here. Can they catch him? They can't catch him. Touchdown. A punt return for a touchdown in a playoff game. That's a moment we're not going to forget for some time. We won't forget about this one. And I don't think I'll ever forget the blocks that helped get him loose to be able to score this touchdown. He's going to get a lot of the credit. But when they go back and watch the film, I think he's going to give an assist to the entire unit. Here's the return from inside the five. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. Good work by the blockers in that return team. He found the lane, and so this drive's going to begin with good field position. Time ticking away. Time for just one more play before halftime. Looking to throw it on first down. Contact as he threw it. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. They finally make the stop there after a huge gain, but that wraps up the first half. The Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks, Chris. These games, they never disappoint, regardless the score. And this one was filled with excitement and big plays throughout that first half. And we have to start this halftime breakdown. I am this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. And the South Carolina offense is back out on the field. That's going to do it for us here at the half. Time to see how this incredible playoff drama plays out. And for that, it's back to prison Kirk. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. Important second down play coming up. To throw, it's Sellers. The pocket breaking down. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw that time. And now third down coming up. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. They're going to throw for it on third and short. Grab behind the line, it's Brown. They bring him down, but that's a good play. It moves the ball to the 39. Think about this, Chris. This guy hasn't been working since January of last year to get ready for a dream season. They've had that. Now they're here, so close into the postseason in the playoff, working with the lead. It comes down to a third down. They do their job, convert. And now they keep working that clock and getting so much closer to advancing to the next round. Quarterback operating an empty set. Second down, we're going to throw it. He's looking deep here. Caught near the goal line. Tackled at the five-yard line. Now it's first and goal right there. The Gamecocks look to keep this drive moving. Back to throw again. It's a quick grab. Let me stop short a couple yards from the goal line. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. 
as a design quarterback keeper. Couldn't quite get there, but brought down at the one-yard line. Well, anytime you use your quarterback as a runner, the goal is obviously to hit some big plays. You've got to be careful of letting your quarterback muscles across the goal line. Touchdown, Gamecocks. And that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield, or he may go for a third or a fourth later today. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And the kickoff will be a return. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Here comes the Cougars offense back on the field. Pre-snap motion from the offense. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. Breaking tackles. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Breaks loose at the 40. Big runs like this are just demoralizing for a defense. It's one thing to give up big plays over your head against the pass game. When teams can run the ball, pick up yards like this, it really affects the team's mental psyche and their confidence. And you'll start to see some missed tackles following a play like this. They'll run it here. Football knocked loose in the backfield. Defense recovers the fumble. It's a turnover. Man, when you get into this big a game on this kind of stage in the second half and you're trailing, you just cannot afford to put the ball on the ground. The defense is attacking, trying to get the ball out. They do. Ball's on the ground, and this could be the end of the game. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. the lead this one is getting ugly that's what makes this guy so dangerous as a wide receiver he can catch the ball underneath shake and bake and go by you or use his speed to get around you and make a big play like this for a touchdown here's the kickoff team let's see if they give the returner opportunity to bring this back Fields it inside the five-yard line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Here comes the Wazoo offense back on the field. They moved the ball into plus territory last time, but it ended in a fumble. They can't do that again, trailing on the scoreboard. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Physical defending, that one falls incomplete, brings up second down. And now they run the draw play. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. 
Well, the offensive line is completely occupied with that defensive front. That freed up that linebacker to shoot right through that gap and blow up the ball carrier. What a play. And he floats this pass deep down the right side. Caught way downfield for a huge game. Touchdown, Washington State. It was a foot race, and he won it. That's another passing strike from this quarterback. He is having himself a tremendous ball. Boy, this guy just can't miss. Every single time he throws, it seems like he's coming up with another touchdown. The receivers are running good routes. He has enough time to throw. And, man, this poor defense, they might want to think about changing up the coverage. Because right now, it is not working. Return starts from inside the five. And the returner is brought down. And the Gamecocks offense is back out there on the field. Last possession, a one-play lightning strike with the big touchdown pass. Can the defense make adjustments here? And the game moves the ball to the 20-yard line. Ooh, that came close to breaking into the secondary and potentially a big play. Read option, the quarterback keeps it. And why he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yards. Only a nice tackle prevented it from going all the way. The important third down play coming up. It's a quarterback keeper. Brought down to the 23. Good enough for a first down. Well, they continue to play good football right front. Nice run. Nice conversion here. And most importantly, working with that lead. You keep working that clock. You're trying to advance to that next round of the postseason. A solid eight-yard game brings up a second and two. Just love watching his back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. Offense switches it up here, looking to throw the ball now. That one knocked away, incomplete. Good job by the defense to end the third quarter. And South Carolina in the lead here, with three quarters in the books, with a chance to stay alive in the playoff at stake. Let's take a quick look at the stats so far. So ball with the 30, this is a manageable third down play for the offense. And it works. The first down to the 35. How impressive these guys been up front today. Big third down. Know what you need to do. Get the first down. Continue to hold on to that lead. Continue to work clock. And get that much closer to securing a victory. Tackle way behind the line. He'll lose six there. Now it's second down here. Scanning the field. It's Sellers. Fires it to the wide out. He's got his man in the open field. An explosive play. They finally got him, but at the 40. I mean, Chris, look at this guy. I mean, you talk about having a great day throwing the football and leading his team to a nice, comfortable lead late in the game, and it continues. The coach is showing confidence of what he can do. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. Well, that's just a miscommunication here. That's busted coverage by the defense. There's no way you can leave a receiver that open. The only problem for the offense is the quarterback misses the throw. That's a touchdown. Second down play coming up. On the run, it's White. Tough running to avoid a loss, but just barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. Well, this offense has really been moving the ball at will on this drive. And a nice job here on this defense to finally come up and make a nice play for no game. And the long march continues. Offense pushing the ball down the field. And someone on the line there moved a bit early. Offense gets a five-yard penalty. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. So a tough third and long on the tenth play of the drive. From the shotgun, drops back, looking for an open man. And he pulls in the catch. They make the stop just short of the first. Looks like inches to go, and now fourth down. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. Tackle to the 28. This offense threatening now. Another first down. The game got to a hustle to the line here to run the hurry up. Boy, this offense just seems to get more confident as this football game is played out. They've got a nice lead. Here they are in the fourth quarter, just working that clock, possessing the football, and trying to get out of here with a nice, solid victory. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. The Gamecocks with first and ten here. And the quarterback tucks it and takes off as a design run. 
and he'll be smoldered right at the line for no gain. The long drive continues. The offense pushing the ball down the field. Back to pass. It's Sellers. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. And the pass is dropped in complete. Would have had a huge gain. Took his eye off the ball. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. This one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. Pulls it in. It's Jacobs. No, he didn't make it. He is stopped short. So they don't take the chance to add to this lead, and the defense will get the football back. First down, we're going to throw the ball. Who makes the grab? To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. That completion sets up a second down play. I love what the defense is doing here. Sitting back, giving up some plays underneath, tackling these guys inbounds, and just keep that clock rolling. So the offense faces a third and manageable here from the 25-yard line. From the shotgun, drops back. Makes a quick grab. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first half. They bring him down with the junior quarterback showing off the cannon. Good job by this offensive line and a great throw by the quarterback to get that first down there on third down. It is intercepted. Look out, he's got some, and the ball to the ground. Offense keeps possession, recovers the fumble. Chris, have you ever seen a play where you have two turnovers on one play? Great job with the interception. The defense has the ball only to try to make too much happen. The ball's on the ground, and then the offense gets the ball back first and ten. Woo. Catch your breath. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. Crosses the 10. They could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Washington State. And that's his second touchdown today. This guy's winning every one-on-one -on -one matchup this defense provides. Great job by the quarterback putting the ball where his guy can make a play on it, and he's got two on the board. With after, up and good. Formation would indicate they're going to try the onside kick here. And they've got the recovery. The offense goes right back to work now. Hey, you're down a couple scores. This is an outstanding call to try to get this football back. That's the first step in coming back. Now, let's try to steal a score here and see if you can do it all over again. With the catch, it's Hernandez. He's brought down, but a solid game moves the ball across midfield before he won. First down and 10. Hey, you're down by a couple possessions late in the game. That's exactly how you want to start this drive. Let's see what they can do with it after that nice game. The junior quarterback fortunate to avoid the turnover there. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands, sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. It's incomplete that was caused by the defensive pressure, and now it brings up third down. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. And he throws his third interception of the day. Can he take it all the way? So a great return following the pick. They're finally able to get him down. Well, this defense has been great the entire football game here. They knew they had a lot of pressure on them in the playoff. They stepped up and played well all game long. And now they get a critical interception here late in this game. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. And he's going to stretch the defense, taking a deep shot here. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. And the game got to in the red zone. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Off the play fake, looking to throw. Launching one to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Gamecocks. Now the all-important extra point. 
Extra point up and good. They build the lead to 18 here in the final quarter. Pickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. South Carolina, 49. Washington fields it just outside the goal line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. The Washington State offense back out on the field now. At this point, there's not much you can do except play for pride. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. And he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards. The completion makes it second and short. Looking to throw, it's Mateer. Time is running out. They'll take a deep shot. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. So the offense faces a third and manageable here from the 25-yard line. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Another interception. That's number four today. Are you kidding me? Takes the pick to the end zone. Touchdown, South Carolina. But they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. He's missed the PAT. Wow. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And the returner will be brought down. Washington State's offense back on the field now. This has been a rough game for these guys. Not much left to do but play for pride. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He makes the grab. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. So quickly, all the way up to the 36 in his first down. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Quick throw to the left side. Beautiful catch right near the sideline. Gets the foot down. Tackle is made, but the junior quarterback shows off his arm strength that time. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Cut quickly. They make the tackle, but not before. A solid gain on that pass. The offense will take their first time out of the half to talk strategy here. We're going to pass here on second down. Down he goes. A sack. And the offense will wisely spend a timeout after the play. Clock management is going to be very important here in the final minutes. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Looking to throw. It's Mateer. Pass is caught right near the sideline. What a catch. Does get the foot down. Washington State getting set with a first and ten now. And he'll set up to throw. And it's incomplete. He dropped the first down pass over the middle. Second down play coming up for this offense. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. Makes the catch. Can he get in? And he will score. Touchdown, Washington State. Well, this guy has a hack for the end zone, doesn't he? That's two touchdowns for this guy today. And I don't know if he's done yet. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. And he's got it. So they convert the two-point conversion. Get it back to a two-score game to keep their slim hopes alive. And now the defense decides to spend the timeout to regroup a bit. I believe they're going to line up here and go for the onside kick. And the receiving team has recovered. Looks like the hands team did its job. And the South Carolina offense is back out on the field. The offense starts with excellent field position. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. And looking for a big play here. Oh, grabs it near the sideline. It's a huge game. The Gamecocks looking to use the up-tempo offense here. They'll try the option play here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. So off the loss, it's second and goal from the seven. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. And he will be stuffed for no game. 
Well, defense does a nice job of pressuring the quarterback. I'll tell you what, that's a heck of an effort by this guy just to be able to get back close to the line of scrimmage. Look at the throw on third and goal. Touchdown, Gamecocks. To stretch the lead, the route is on. But Kirk, this quarterback told us this is my time to shine, a playoff game. He has gone out and backed that up so far. Yeah, he's done everything that's been asked of him and more. Just a great job of getting into a rhythm. Really tough to defend. Right now, the defensive coordinator, you can see him down there. He's throwing his headset. He's frustrated. He's got to come up with some new wrinkles to try to slow this guy down. And he takes this from inside the five. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. First down here for this offense. Back to pass. It's Mateer. And he just throws it away there. Safe move. Had nobody open. Offense getting set. It's second down. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. Defense is coming after him. The defense has the last word today. That's a sweet victory. Of course, in the playoffs, it's survive and advance. This is a crucial W. Great performance, but now... The stage gets even bigger. The challenges will continue going forward. Yeah, more and more pressure will grow as this team continues to win football games. But you and I have been around this team all year long. So impressed with the emotions and how they're able to contain themselves, stay focused on the task at hand. They did that again today. They advance. Cannot wait to watch and see what they can do next week. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.